Necrophilia. Hey guys, name's Fen. If any of y'all use an angel loader, better go update to 1.3.2, because I fixed a stupid bug that didn't used to exist, but at some point in Windows 10's history, I guess it cropped up without telling anybody. There's Microsoft for you. Anyways, uh, yeah, like it's, it's, it's a bug that could make you think stupid things are not working, so if you want to make smart things go working. Oh yeah, so there's the money. So this is like the thing, if you get stuck in here, you can open, I guess. Always a good thing to put in a level. <laughs> so actually, I do have all three of the talismans that I need plus that one, I think. Right? Because I got the water talisman in the water area where the swords chase me. I got the air talisman... Well, I don't remember. And I got the tal Oh yeah, it was in that weird grave place. And I got the talisman of Earth in the zombie cave where I was like, Hey, I'm gonna give a zombie an erection. So, uh... Just get this. And if I'm fast enough, I guess I can avoid getting speared up the butt. So cool. Now I have to just remember where I actually am supposed to put these. You know? Because that's a... That's a potential issue. Oh yeah, and uh, I gotta say, as much as I, uh, as much as I've had to do some tuning in, quote unquote, of the new computer, and as much as I complain about the software, I'm really, really happy with it overall. Like this hardware is just boss as heck to say some strange teenage-sounding thing that teenagers used to say. But I don't know, I don't know junk dick about that. My dick ain't junk. It's it's gold. Like literally, it's heavy. It's not as nice as you might think having a gold dick. Ah, oh, so there's some path somewhere or another that I I'm missing. So this must be yeah. That's that. You know that. And I see this looks ugly when I turn it to full brightness, but then nobody can see anything if I don't. So I probably played this with. Oh. With full brightness, back when I first played- excuse me a second. Okay. And I forgot what I was saying. So, yes, this, this is it. And this, I guess, is the cave. The cave that it says there's only one exit from, but I guess it's literally false. Wicked, tricky, and false. That's a carrot's voice. Wicked, tricky, and false. These are the traits of the enemies of the goodly gear. <laughs> uh, I've purchased the gear shaped dildo for use during those long lonely nights. I just thought you'd wish to know. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, <laughs> you put the stuff in stuff just like you'd normally think. It's pretty exciting, and I guess then. We're almost done the mission, so, uh, okay. I- I gained entry to the Tomb of the Meth- Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Garrett was saying that, yeah. Deep in the lower catacombs. This looks my, like the way in. My gear-shaped dildo can go deep in my lower catacombs any day. Yeah, I'm going to- Seriously. I'm going to make you guys express disgust if it's the last thing I do. Can't stand y'all going- Fanning yourselves and junk. By God, it's. <laughs> why, is, why am I having this mission? I don't know. Uh, maybe things will be brighter. Oh, guess what? Not at all. Uh, well, anyways, this this is what it looks like when it's looking good. So yeah, I could do that trick of like chopping your face down. Whoa. On this side, and then just never going on this side. Yeah, so, I, uh, I think I want it full dark and proper, so I can reveal this. Look! Whoa, yeah, yeah. Look at this! Dude, when I first saw this, I sneezed, like this. Oh! Just like that. Uh, and I was stunned, I was like, dude! This is like, I don't, I never see nothing like this in Thief Gold. This underground tower. I mean, I guess it's not like it's nothing that can't be done, but it's just like I never seen it done, did. I mean, look, yeah, dude. It's great. But I ain't going there just yet. First, I have to, I don't know, that guy looks like he's playing bongo drums. I guess I gotta get him his holy bongo drums back 
And then he can, uh... Whoa. Uh-oh. And then he can go like, Thank you for getting my holy bongo drums. The builder shalt worship me into his kingdom. But oh god, the evil is riding now across the horizons. Who do Rhapsody of Fire use now that Chris Lee can't be used, huh? Uh, I don't really know. But you know, my guilty pleasure metal album is the Symphony of Enchanted Lands part two, or is it part one? It might be part one. You know, the one where it's like, uh, Blood up the 5,000 angels, here's 5,000 years. Oh, uh, Symphony of Enchanted Lands 2, The Dark Secret. Also looks like Rhapsody is like in tatters or something. That's pretty great. Uh, no, not. But yeah, gorgeous cover art on that too. I'll throw it up here for y'all. Beautiful. Man, I'd put that poster on my wall. And, and great music too. Like the music, the story is utterly cheesy, as it always is. But my god, is the music great. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, brain of Nox. <laughs> Cut the head in half using a bandsaw and scoop the brains out. Blast the brain out with water or air. Suck the brain out through a hole in the head. <laughs> You know, just so you know, I can imitate a zombie, in case you ever want anybody to imitate a zombie, I can sort of do it. I don't know, most people can though, I'd imagine. That's the important part. Right? Oh, I stepped. So yeah, it's a brain. It's not really a brain, but this is vanilla. So shh, you know, it's a, it's a brain in a sarcophagus. But, but yeah. So don't step on the hammer, or the thing happens. So you might wonder. Steal the the grimoire. Why do I have the brain of Nos or whatever it is? The brain of somebody. A brain of Nos. Well, you'll find out. What's the point of this? Oh, the point of this is to be a transition zone. But first of all. Got to just see whether I'm missing anything or not. Probably not. I guess not. So that guy's... No. Uh -oh. Playing his unholy bongo drums. And I guess when I step on the tile, he, he wakes up and realizes he doesn't have them and gets furious and rains fire down upon from the heavens. That guy is actually the builder. He looks like just a hammerite, but he's the builder. The builder is dead. We have killed him with our atom bombs or whatever making light of serious business, it's okay, because it's old, so it's not serious anymore. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. But fortunately, we can just... hide... Under the angel stairs, hide under stairs. Okay. So, like I got tons of weapons, and I can't remember exactly what I used to deal with these fools. But like, I gotta sort of prioritize until like... No, I don't... That, that's pointless, I could just use my sword then. This looks interesting. Oh yeah, it's a talisman of attunement. I think I just like dropped him in a corner or something. You can just never. Never, and then just never. Well, I guess this is his body, and there's a sword hilt, not a chisel. I always thought that was a chisel, but it looks like a freaking chisel to me. But the talisman of attunement. teleports you back here. Also, attunement should probably have two teas, but what do I know? Drinking two teas might be too many. Tower of Rune Light. Tower of Silence. Oh, this is the Tower of Rune Light. I, I guess this is the place I've been circling around all of these years. Great. So, the Tower of Silence. I wonder what happened here. I 
don't know, but it's super cool looking. Look at this Matrix stuff. This is awesome. Like, for real. And there's, yeah, like, they don't beat you over the head with some explanation. It's just like you wonder what happened. And then these guys don't block you. They're ghosts. I don't know. I mean, or maybe they do. I don't think so, though. Well, I don't know. Corwin, to gain access to the Tomb of Nos is no simple task. It was sealed with his own body, the parts of which were scattered throughout the catacombs. The only reference I could find was a passage in the writings of Archmage Endelred, which I have enclosed. It should go without saying that you should be careful. Beware the unquiet dead and the traps meant to ensnare grave robbers. But above all else, beware your fellows. The runes speak of a betrayal, though from whom I cannot say. Be on your guard, and the treasures of Nos will be ours, Xavier. The usurper was struck down and held with bindings both physical and spiritual. His mortal frame was then desecrated such that his necromantic powers could not allow his soul to re-enter it. First, his organs were cut from his living body and placed into sacred jars. His heart was hidden amongst the forbidden texts of the Tower of Dead Thoughts. His stomach and liver were set atop the ziggurat of elders, guarded by the Carrion children. His brain was placed in the Tower of Runelight. His casting hand was lopped off and sealed within the tomb of Radok the Alchemist. His silvered eye was plucked was plucked from its socket and placed high in the Tower of Silence. The rest of him we burned until long after his unholy scream stopped, and his ashes were placed in the lowest vault where the earth's fires roar. His possessions we sealed into his tomb in lieu of his body. Oh yeah, you guys, it's fun time, Supreme! Doing all the spokes of the wheel quest now! Yeah. Okay, it seems you'll need to find parts of the desecrated corpse of Nos himself to gain access to his tomb. Find his heart in the Tower of Dead Thoughts. Find his stomach and liver in the Ziggurat of Elders. Find his brain, got that? Find his hand in the tomb of Radak the Alchemist within the holes of internal tranquility. Find his silver eye with it. Silver eye. <laughs> find him in the Tower of Silence. Find his ashes in the lowest vault when you have what you came for. Get the stuff. Return to the stuff. Sneak into the tomb of Nos. Oh, I guess that means like the real, real tomb of Nos, like the actual place where he was buried or something. Okay. So somebody stopped time, yes, but I guess that's what happened. One of these mages stopped time? I don't know. It's great, though. It's super cool. Also, though, those explosions are sort of moving in time, like in one way, but not in another. Why is she walking all weird? Waterloo. Tower of Doors. Oh, the Tower of Doors. Yes, yes, yes. So, follow my song through earth, air, fire, and water. So, the song. So, I actually, it, it's, it's pretty, oh, pretty simple, but. And sinful. Sinful is simple. All thou hast to do is make love to thy pet ferret, and thou hast sinned. By which I mean thou hast missed the mark, because apparently that's the root of the word sin. To have your arrow not hit the bull's eye or something. Some sort of library. <laughs> that, that is one word. Like, why, why is she just waddling? I guess because she's supposed to be floating. You, like, hey, I want to know what kind of love you could bless. Face is scary. It's cosmic and full of stars. You haven't got any love. I don't have time for you, you, you un imbecilic fool. That was a poor attempt at something. Okay, so, the Tower of Dead Thoughts. I'm not going, okay, there's one tower. Is it this? Yeah, I'm not going up there for reasons you'll discover. I can't send you to Riven with a way out. Okay, I'll go to the Tower of Doors, so follow the song, so... So there's this... cold, dead... Oh yeah, you have to follow the music. Face the music, nice <laughs> arrow in the mouth. Otherwise, it's just this... cold... empty... thing. Boy, how do I love gas arrows. You know, because... I love 
gas arrows because you could put them in your butt and fart and you could put them in your car and vroom. And you'll be a zoomer, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, so you know you're going proper place, but yeah, so it's actually pretty easy. Follow the music. It's just like that cold, empty void. It's that, it's that... That sort of sound that you might expect in, uh, Project Eden. That joke thing that I keep starting, like, that I'm gonna finish when I'm 80. Uh, but <laughs> no, whatever. Oh, yeah, so is that it? I guess so. In, in the, in the outside zone of the construction zone. Oh, jeez, you know. No, but after me and Saturnine tried and failed to play, and then I forgot to save after, so I'd have to redo that whole part again, and then I've forgotten what's happening. Yeah, that's... that's Oh, but wait, wait, wait. This, this hallway is, like, strange, because if you go in... So, yeah, it's... You can't, like, normally you can see objects, but this is kind of hard to... I guess you just jump over. Yeah, okay. Man, yeah, I just love this. Like, see, every area is memorable. Look at this. How can that be vanilla? That's awesome. <laughs> Look at this. The Ziggurat of Elders. How come I- I don't think I looked at my map ever when I played this the first time, because I was like, is this the Ziggurat or isn't it? But I guess it is. There's the weird Asian-looking symbol there, I don't know. It's Asian-looking, because it's wearing a hat. Asians, stereotypically famous for wearing hat. Whoa. Hats. You know. You greet an Asian person like, haha, where's your hat? And they're like, oh, well, where's your toque? And you're like, oh! Yeah, the carrying chill. So these, you might say these are not vanilla. Also, they have weird boobs for some reason. So there's some, you know, if you're necrophiliac, well, there you go. Uh, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed, and by enjoyed, I mean quote-unquote enjoyed. And, uh, but it, that is a, uh, an allowed resource because that's, I believe, a deleted enemy that was going to be in the game. Like, it's a resource that's maybe in the game. <laughs> Disgraced. He refused to show his boobs in death. Uh, like, no part of that sentence made sense. <sighs> this was like the original design for the weird walker beasts or whatever, I think. So you're allowed to use it. You know. Just in case you were wondering. I thought there was another way up through the outside, though. But this is cool, because this is c the kind of sky comedy and it's, yeah, it's like Endelred. Endelred. Yeah, this is it. Wait, Endelred. Oh, this is just the guy. This is just some guy. Okay. So yeah, it's like when the sarcastic. Sky calmer. I love that. When the skies thunder, they shall be calmed by yellow whatever. Uh. So yeah, this is a cool ghosting phenomenon, because it's like not annoying. Flame color. But it's, it's tense and cool. Well, I guess it was easy there, but hey, whatever. So, this looks like you could climb up or something. But, actually, for the, for the frickin' second time, I... Just remembered that you don't actually... I think you're supposed to come from above. This is the second frickin' time I've forgotten you're supposed to come from above. Why so serious? Ugh, so... If you're into this look, well, there you go. <laughs> ah. But I think there's... I think somebody comes on in here. Kuchnak the Burned. I just love the flavor here. Plane Walker, 3200. Okay. Deep Seed. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh... I, I put my deep seed into my gear shape. Okay, I'm done. No, never. This is what my commentary has become now, and you're gonna like it. Ever drowning. Jeez, that is... Jump at the librarian. Not as dramatic as the others, I gotta say. Adjust the mic. He's just a librarian. But hey, librarians are important. It's a thankless job, unless you're a hot librarian with glasses that you take off, and then I go like, what are you taking off your glasses for? You trying to be hideous and not hot up in here? No, that, that's not how it went. Oh, somebody on some forum said it better than me. And it wasn't a creepy forum either, come on. Whatever, I'm done talking, let's just do the walking. 
Uh oh. So, yeah, so I guess you just climb the edge. I guess it's not really any secret. You just climb the, the edge and eventually you end up here, I guess. Whoa. Sure. I thought there was some secret on the outside that wasn't on the main path or something, but I guess I'll find that if it does exist. And not if not. Uh, yeah, see, like, there's this and... Dude, I love... This almost like, it's like Diablo or that kind of game, like... You know, you see all these weird names, just kind of dark flavorings. Love. It. So hopefully there's not some guy over here. I thought there was something along the edge, like some loot along the edge, maybe? Oh, yeah. And now you gotta go down, I guess. Hopefully this is solid. Oh, you can't. Oh. Okay, fine. Sure. That's a brand of microphones. All right, so, but, yeah, so there was that. Huh! What was this, though? I didn't go this way. Nothing. A malfunction. Adjust the mic. And a hiding place. Okay. So, I guess I just... Wait. I th Is this the... Wait. Is this the level... Do I have to go around there and look at the chest? I think I do. I think I do. So the little red Hengin, Fengin, the reality synthesizer. That was the name of some chip. Back when that was the trick, like everything. <laughs> okay, the PS, the the PS2 had the emotion engine and the reality synthesizer, but then the 64 had something called reality something. The reality engine. Like, clearly these consoles are nothing like reality, especially not the 64. You know, N64 was so awesome when I was a kid. Like, I grew up with the Super NES, and to me, like, I knew about the Genesis and the NES, and to me, consoles were like sort of boxes where you put cartridges in the top. Like, so, I, I had no idea about the thing going on with CDs and how, like, I didn't know about the limitations of cartridges. I was a kid, like, 7, 8, no, in 96, I would have been, like, 10 when it, 64 came out. So, so, like, to me, consoles just had cartridges, and I didn't know about their limits or expense or anything, because I didn't think about it. So, I saw the PlayStation 1 in the store, it, in a demo kiosk thing, they used to have those, and I was like, what's this? Is this, like really boring looking flat it's like a, a a rectangle with a circle on it called the PlayStation it's like really boring looking the controller is like weird and it has these markings on the buttons instead of a b x y they have these symbols that you can't remember why don't they just call it a b x and y and like and I tried playing the games and it's like they took half an hour to load and then all yeah liver of not and then I didn't really like the games all had this this sort of Genesis-y energy where it was like cold and crowdy and trying to be, appeal to like the cool teenagers who were desperate to be cool. No, I could swear there is something else up here. There's something else up here. There is. I know it because I missed it one time and, and I was unhappy. Yeah. And I was like, why? I don't get it. Why is this even here, like, why is this popular? I don't get it, it's just, and, and the graphics jiggle around like an amateur. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the PlayStation 1 had that polygon jiggle that the N64 didn't have, or it just looked like... It's like, how did this even get released? It looks so goddamn bad that it, it's like, the textures look higher res, and like, the graphics in general looked better than the 64 in terms of textures, but they looked worse in motion. And the 64 was this awesome, sleek black console that looked like a freaking sports car, all curvy, and the controller was crazy awesome looking, it had an analog thing, and... And the N64 had these warm, friendly games that I was used to for an... Oh my god, really? You're not gonna let me go in there? I was used to from Nintendo, Mario and Zelda, and it wasn't all this, like, ugh. 
It's sort of like games that even to this day, it's the kind of games that are on the 360. It's like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro, kind of like, just like walking around in armor, like, kung, 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 kung. I shoot things, kung, kung, kung. nice shit. Like shit like that. I'm like, why would you want that? I've always liked games that have warmth, that are just like, not trying to be overly like, yeah, bro. Because why do you need to? Games are fun and pleasant, and you want to play them and have them be fun and pleasant. You know? So I just did not get it. I did not understand the appeal of CDs. The loading was slow. The PlayStation sucked. Or so thought I. Dude, get over it first. Let me up there, for God's sake. And, and yeah, like... There's this whole debate going on with the N64. Oh, it's using cartridges still, and like, just went right over my head. I'm like, of course it uses cartridges. Consoles use cartridges, and blur to blur. And Ocarina of Time looked amazing at the time. <laughs> it was like... It was like, uh... Oh, jeez. It was like, uh... For some reason, the graphics looked perfect to me, and I couldn't see any polygon edges or anything. Which, like, how did I not... Yeah, sure. That was on purpose. But it's... <laughs> yeah. And I actually liked Ocarina back then, whereas now it's just like it's interminably tedious. Except some parts are nice, but... Yeah, Majora's Mask also has a lot of the interminably tedious sort of DNA, but... Wait a minute. There's something up there. Okay, the... Oh, it's just a ladder. <laughs> See, I almost missed it again. But it also is a lot better in that regard, the stomach of- Oh yeah, I had to go up here! So wait. Ziggurat. Find his stomach and liver! Right, 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 it's two things, yeah. Yeah, cause I- First time I played, I'm like, WHERE'S THE THING?! And I was like, is that the Ziggurat that I went to? But I guess I didn't look at the map, I don't know what was wrong with me, but- But yeah, the N64, I so wanted one. And I never got one as a kid. I got one later when it was all used and nobody cared about it. But that's the first time I played Majora's Mask when I finally got one. And so yeah, but uh, my friend had it, and I used to go to his house and watch in awe of him playing Ocarina. Shoot. And I hardly got to play it myself because, obviously. <laughs> but the N64 did not age well. At all, who boy did it not? Because <laughs> that early 3D stuff was like early 3D. It was like the Atari of 3D, where like at the time it probably looked sweet, but now it's just like what? So that's that, and we never have to come back here ever again. I really miss that timer that tells me the time. We have to rig up some system, just figure out how to. Overlay this stuff. Probably more trouble than it's worth. It's no wonder everyone charges for it and... And nothing is open source. So, yeah, because it's, it's hard, probably. Then again, I've never shied away from hard code. Nor have I. My hard code sleepeth in the same bed and gets really hard with me every night. No, you know, I think it's just kind of become this just kind of unappealing now. Like, nobody nobody likes Karis in that way. Except that I claim to when I'm joking, but when I'm not joking, I don't. So, okay, so something about this place is, is like, dangerous. But wait, there's a way down? And you'll see what that is, and this time I sort of know better than to, like, provoke the danger. Which, you know, you'll see what that is. It's just, like, purpley... Drains, draining purple, urinating purple onto my face. Maybe I'll cut that last one out anyway. You're never gonna know what I said. Can't read the books, they're... Evil books, here comes the danger. Or somewhere comes the danger. But, there's places to hide. I think. So this is stairs up, so what is this other place then? Different stairs up? Uh-oh. That guy is a member of the danger. 
So, watch out. So I guess he must come from here. Uh, it's funny though, I thought the danger came from more upward. Ugh. Man, I don't like the danger, so I'm just gonna kind of wait it out. Except there's like nowhere to do so. Maybe if I'm super lucky. <sighs> ah, to go like that every time I drink. I think that was the rule. Yeah, that was the rule. You have to. It's the rule in the book. To play truth or dare, you have to go by the book and be logical. I dare you to comb your logic even once. Ugh. So, oh, this is the ground floor. Of course it's the ground floor. What was I thinking it would be? And I guess weird spiders and dead men. Yeah, you still can't see even with full brightness, can you? So yeah, it's just not worth trying to take all these dudes out. Now, this place here, I was looking for this forever in my first playthrough, but guess what, here it is, and I, I don't actually remember how to open it, but it's kind of there, so... You know... Hey, go away, dude. But now that I've gotten some body parts, and sort of, uh, revealed Karis's sinful nature... Uh-oh. Maybe I should kind of just leave it here. So, uh, yeah, I have no idea how long this is, but however long it is, is however long you're going to have to deal with, okay? There's nothing I can do about it, despite what spam would make it- NOPE!